Creating a dog-friendly backyard brings many benefits, such as the dog's safety, prevention of boredom, exercise, enjoyment of nature. And today, we have Richard and Vicki Harwoods from Bark Busters here, along with Pride, this sweet one-year-old mini golden doodle. Oh, Pride, she is such a good dog. She really is very, very sweet dog. Unfortunately, she already has an owner, so... She does. You can, no, <laughs> she doesn't need to be adopted, but she's very sweet. Um, so, Pride probably has a nice backyard. Yes. For, for her to play around in. What goes into having a good backyard for a dog? You gotta keep your dog active outside. A lot of times people let their dogs out and they run around and that's fine, but then they get into trouble. Mm. Okay, they start digging. So we gotta give them things to keep them busy. Um, and and what are those things? So a lot of, there's a lot of different things. Here's what we call our, um, our um, game changer, which, we, which is a kind of thing that you can put food, um, like uh, little, little treats, kibble inside, and it m bounces around, and they have to forge to get it out. So it's like a brain Smart. game; it makes them think. Then you could do something like hanging up a a ball with a bungee cord on a, a branch. Ah. And what's good about this is that the ball keeps moving, so they never actually get it. And so you make it just high enough that their nose can reach it and push it around, but they can't get it because a bored dog is the dogs that start digging in the ground, eating plants, um, and, and getting in t into trouble. So we, we often tell our clients, you have special toys for only outside. So the dog wants to go outside and play, Smart. but you also have to know how long to keep them out. And that's the important thing, because that's when other problems can happen. Um, also, uh, knowing the plants that are on your property, yeah. that must be important yeah. as well. Yeah, you have to be very careful, because a lot of times plants are poisonous to our dogs. The other thing you want to be careful of is if you do gardening, don't have the dog outside while you're gardening, because if they see you playing with the plants, they'll start playing with right. the plants. If they see you digging to pull out weeds, they start yeah. pulling out weeds. Yeah. Okay. And you have to watch to think about mulch, and you have to think about other things that they could get into. Mulch can be hazardous too, so you want to make sure you don't have that insecticide spraying any things on your plants to make sure the dogs can access that. Well, we just talked about what you shouldn't have, but what you should have, some water, right? right. Well, That's water, you should want to have a water bowl outside for your dog, um, but you also want to be careful. You don't want to have water bottles. Mm. Because if they start playing with the plastic bottles, then they think, oh, inside the house I can play with the plastic bottles right. as well. Or I can chew on the hose outside. They really don't associate what's an appropriate toy. So you can't mix our human things that we use as toys for our dogs because then they'll just grab, they'll grab this out of somebody's hand thinking it's a toy to play with. And with the 80 degrees this week that's coming, yes. shade must be important. Shade's well. very important. Make sure the dog has some adequate shade, whether it's a dog house or a place that they can den themselves and be right. cool, under a deck maybe. Right. Okay. The other thing is if you have a pool in your yard, please make sure it's secure so the dog can't accidentally fall into the pool. Along the same lines, if you have a fence, make sure the gate is secure and there's no way for your dog to get in under the out. fence. Yeah. These are things people don't think about. The dogs, if they can find a way to get out, they get out. And um, sometimes if you have an invisible fence, those are great, but just the important thing to remember is it doesn't stop things from coming in your yard. It stops your dog from going out. Mm -hmm. Well, Pride, I mean, clearly she doesn't need any boredom tricks. She's a good dog. She really is. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you for being here.